Everybody, we are back with another review today. We got another installment for Survival Saturdays. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this review. And today, we're going to be checking out another knife. This one is going to be another Cricut, and this one is the Minimalist Cleaver. So, let's check this out and let's see what we got in here for their everyday carry recommendation here. So, this is designed by Alan Foltz. It is a compact flixed blade. It's got a bead blast blade finish, and it's got a versatile carry sheath, which is that plastic that you see on the back there as well. Um, now, I wanted to check out the handle. I thought the handle was very interesting. <clears throat> it looks like it has like a wood grain look to it, but I think it's some kind of textured rubber or, I don't know. It, on the back here, it is described as a polished resin. So let's check it out. I thought this was a really cool, nice to, nice to check out. So I said, hey, why not? Let's share it on the channel here. And let's see what we got in the box from Cricut today. So I'm just gonna slide this across. Let's see if we got it broken all the way through. I don't think I cut it over here. There we go. Need a knife to cut out your own knife. That's pretty, pretty interesting, huh? So, whoa. <laughs> the minimalist is out, that is for sure. And there is the blade guard right there, which is now off. So the minimalist is out. Uh, there's the sheath right there. Here's the belt clip. Should be wearing safety glasses now, opening up these, doing these gear reviews. So it looks like they actually have a little cap. Is that a little cap? A little cap on the end of that, so you could attach that as a belt loop if you wanted to put this on your your belt. And yeah, it does come with a a little blade guard, which is a universal blade guard because it's meant for a pointy blade or a flat blade like this. Pretty cool little knife. All right, so here is the sheath right here, which does come with a lanyard, which I guess you could gear this up to a. Molly system, or you could, I guess you could wear it as a necklace if you wanted to just carry it around your neck um, for your everyday carry, I guess. Um, but it does have a nice paracord here where you can you can rope it through these holes and loop it through so you can basically bind this to your gear bag. And let's see how it actually fits in the sheath. Pretty snug, actually. Pretty snug. It does slide out pretty easy, though, which is, it wants to come out easier than it wants to go back in which is not a good thing, I guess. But again, it does have a, a nice hole here too for you to be able to use the cord. It also has some cordage here for like the handle or a little dangly, almost like a little friendship bracelet, if you would, on the end there. Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, I'm not too impressed about it going into its own sheath. I mean, it like splits the frame there. Check that out, it, like splits the frame. I don't know. Not too impressed by that. That's the only way it goes in. I mean, it doesn't go in that way, I can tell you that. Especially the way that the handle's oriented on the sheath. So yeah, it doesn't actually go in there. And I don't know, like, if it was just kind of dangling, I could see it, like, dropping out. <clears throat> or bouncing out, or falling out, and then you losing this. Because it doesn't actually have a nice snug fit in there. So, I don't know. I'm not really impressed by the sheath, to be honest with you. And it doesn't go... It won't go in there anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm like pressing it in there and it's really not going in there anymore. Like, there's only so much farther it'll go in. Like, I'm like jamming it in there and I'm splitting the frame, like trying to jam it in there. Like the spring, the frame shouldn't have to be split for me to like jam it in there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too impressed with that part, to be honest with you. I don't know. Yeah, not too impressed with that. But let's check out the blade itself. We'll skip the hilt and move that over there, so... All right, blade itself, straight out the gate, pretty sharp, and it says the minimalist, the Foltz design, and then it has a serial number there, 2383 from the run, and there is the CRKT, the Cricut logo. It's got a nice little textured area here for you to get some nice grippage, and also has nice finger grippage as well for you to get that nice cleaver stance like that, which is pretty cool. Again, minimalist cleaver, pretty cool. It does have a nice grippage here for your fingers. I definitely dig that. The handle does not feel like wood. It definitely feels like some kind of a plastic. It does say some kind of resin, but I do like how they did that simulated wood look to it. The grainage, 
like that and the grindage. It is a nice green color as well with the uh, accented darker green for the grain, which is cool. Like I said, it does fit in the hand rather well. It does have a nice, it does have a nice grippage here for the thumb, which is real nice. You know what I'm saying? It has a very nice feel to it once it's actually in your hand. And again, nice and sharp too on that blade. Pretty nice, pretty nice little EDC. I don't know if I would necessarily carry this every day, but if this was a type of knife that you needed with you every day, this would probably be something you could probably clean pretty easy too because of the resin. And it's, again, a fixed blade. Not a lot of stuff on here. Not a lot of place for nonsense to get caught up or parts, right? You know what I'm talking about? Meat or whatever you're using this for. It's not going to get all gummed up too easily. The hole is probably the only thing you have to worry about. But again, at the end of the day, <clears throat> nice little chopping cleaver. Very cool from Cricut. Everyday carry, everyday carry on this one. So, um, I don't know. Again, the sheath isn't something that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. I don't like the way that it goes in there. I don't like that it has to split the frame and I have to like jam it in there to actually get it in there. Like jamming it in there and then like splitting the frame of the case because there's no way that that's going to last over time and you just keep jamming it in there. Especially when it says on here for every day, which means you should be able to use this daily. I don't know. I just feel like you'd lose this if you kept this in this sheath. So. But other than that, it's a very nice knife. So, why don't you let me know down in the comments below what do you think of the minimalist cleaver divine, <laughs> divine, designed by Alan Foltz? Again, a compact fixed blade. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. One more content like this. Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So, look out for that. Have a great rest of your day.